Hey. Johnny, that's great. What's his name? Sam. This is the Hello, great Sam. Sam. Hello, oh. Sam. How are you? Hello. Say hello to Mike. Hello. Isn't he better on your other hand? Is he? Isn't he lovely? Mm. Hello, Sam. All right. He's been for a walk this morning already, has he? I yeah, hope. he's doing. All right, just checking. Ah, he's no. biting my shoulder. No, uh, <laughs> now, you're on at the Magic Castle at the West End at the moment. That's right. Is that going well? Because I know it's only just opened. Yes, yeah, it's just opened. It's the newly decorated Cambridge Theatre. Right. We did it all up. It's completely renovated and now called the Magic Castle. Super. And you've got, I know you've got lasers and it's not just a magic show, but it's a very modern magic show, isn't it? That's right. It's a kind of musical magic show. Mm. There's music by Les Reed, the man who wrote for Tom Jones right. and Engelbert. And there's a laser show, fiber optics, 50 big illusions, one of which we're going to do later. Oh, yes, you've got a real, a real biggie coming up. Yes. Do stay watching if you like some really special magic. You're right there, Sam. Uh, if you like some really oh. special magic. <laughs> <laughs> ah, piece of eight, piece of eight. Ah. See you at sea, boys. May I borrow your wand for a moment? He's biting my head. May I borrow your wand for a moment? Am I allowed to borrow your yeah, wand, or is it very special? Uh, pick that one up. This one? Yep. Is that a wand? Yes. What uh, it is? Turn it upside down and the legs go inside. There you go. Right. Super. Does that work? Well, <laughs> it'll do anyway. <laughs> Come now, on then, it's over to Sarah and some panto magic. <laughs> We're better than our... Johnny Hart and friends are now going to perform some real magic. Yes, indeed. Well, boys and girls, we have the classic of all illusions, sawing the lady in half. So watch closely now as I put the girl in the box. All right, this is Linda and John. We're going to lock her in this box. We're going to see it nice cl and close, too. All righty. All right, Linda. Now, we have to lock her up, because sometimes she changes her mind. There you go. Let's lock her little feet up. Lock her head up. Because, oh, that beautiful hair. Put the scarf on. Now we are ready to saw. Okay, I'm gonna watch. Going all the way down there. And out there. All right. Now we divide the body into two pieces. Ow. Oh, that's not very nice, is it? Hey. Yes, went right down. There you go. 
on. Let's get this one in. It's stuck. Would you like to pull her head? It's called gristle on the backbone. That's what it is. Look at that. Hey, let's have a look at her. Put your hand out. Have a look at your feet. Wiggle your toes. She seems to be all right, doesn't she? All right, tell you what, we'll separate the body. You want to take hold of the other end, John? You ready? One, two, three. Well, let me have a look. Yeah. Would you like to have a look at yourself? There's your feet. Whoa. Shall we put it back together again? Okay, come on. There you go. That looks like. Wiggle your foot. You all right? Tuck your hand in. Let's hope it heals up. There we are. We remove the blades. They're sharp, you know. All right. Now then, you okay, Linda? Now let's remove this bit here. There's a little scar. And all the way around. There you go. Now, shall we see what happened? You saw her jump out, did you? Oh. Come on then. Let's Fantastic. see how she is. All right, there you go. <laughs> well, then, what can I say? That, right, was, that was fantastic, Bye, Johnny. That was great. Can I just make sure that the two halves are still? Uh... Yes. <laughs> no, I believe you. I believe you. That was terrific. Absolutely amazing. What well yes. is that sort of thing you're doing on stage at the Magic Castle? Yeah, we have 50 big tricks like that. Do um, you get sawn in half every night? Yes, and another girl. We do it with two girls in the show. Then we mix up the ends, and. Switch them around. Fabulous, fabulous. Are you on stage with them every night? Yes, it is yeah. there. John and Linda. Right. Hi, John. Hi. It's mine. Linda, well done. Very painful operation, that, I'm sure. Yes, there's about <laughs> 25 people in the show. Really? And I must 50 see big it. illusions. Yes. We've Great, got you've got brought a bargain along with you, haven't you? Yes, we've actually got some free tickets for the show and a super magic book. Where's my magic book? Magic. I think I've got the magic book. You have? Oh, I did have, anyway. No, no, it's oh, gone. Oh, here it is. Oh, this is a super Wonderful. American magic book full of nice color photos of all the best magicians in America. It and doesn't disappear if you put it down, does it? Sometimes. Now, if anybody can tell me the real name of Harry Houdini, they get the magic book and tickets for the show. Okay, which the is real the magic name? Magic Castle, which was formerly the Cambridge Theatre. It's in the West End. And it'll be a nice Christmas outing or for the new year. If you can tell me the real name of Harry Houdini. Okay, and the address is Saturday Superstore, BBC Television, London, W12, 8QT. The real name of Harry Houdini, down on a postcard, and you could be going one night, take your parents to see Johnny Hart, and win this magic book with which you can baffle your friends. Yes. Good stuff. Thank you very much for coming on. I love the jackets. It's yes. terrific, that, isn't it? <laughs> Must get one of those. all these little yeah. elves sewing them on. <laughs> <laughs> Great, yes, good for your elf. Right, thank you very much to all the okay. gang here for coming along, and uh, still baffles me. Yeah, uh, nice. Over to somebody who I'm going to have a go at this with next week and try and saw her in half, Sarah. I think. Have we got it coming up now or not? We've just seen it. Oh, we have seen it. Oh, that was it, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Summertime, I don't mind the ridicule. <laughs> I wasn't watching, it just looked really good. I don't know what it was, I just thought it I looked good. I didn't like that, I thought it looked well, like I, a travel brochure. Well, I obviously liked it anyway. Uh, Neil? I thought it was great, yeah. You were gone, didn't you? You see it. It's a bit about all the drumming on it, though. <laughs> you didn't like the drumming? No. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Joe? No, I didn't like the lead guitar, actually. Yeah. No, I didn't like it. But you like the TV commercial, the yeah. same thing. <laughs> right, Roy. Um, is it that band that usually wear the face mask things, the metal, <laughs> metal things? I don't it's think so. Bit, huh? it's, a, it's a bit like a Louis Clark <laughs> job, isn't it? We're, we're all doing OK so far, yeah? Um, <laughs> it is, yes, it's a bit yeah, like, it's like Louis a Louis Clark, Clark job. Yeah. It's all right, really. It's acceptable. I mean, it's not really my, my kind of music, but uh, no. I think there's a good market for it. Come on, that's why I didn't realise what it was. Alana? Yeah. I thought it was terrible, but I liked the costumes. They were quite good, but and I didn't like that Jonathan Livingston seagull bit with it, oh. you know, the bird flies out. A style of beauty, style of beauty, no one. <laughs> no culture, Tom. It was all, yeah, it was all very meaningful, wasn't it? But no, it wasn't. I, don't know. I like things when you like combine classical and rock and roll, but I don't think it works in that case. The fiddles are nice, but the drumming stuff. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, fair any better for you? 
Um, <laughs> it was a pretty tune. I thought the wigs were very nice. <coughs> and um, but uh, what do you do with a tune like that? It's Put okay. On it. a bit pedestrian. You gondle to it, I suspect. Yes. <laughs> right, Karen. <laughs> skate to it. Yes, you could skate right to now. it. I like it. Will you stop this, oh, this fondling on the pot panel, please? Oh, sorry. Oh, panel no shoulder, they're encouraging you. Nothing's yeah? going on. <laughs> you liked it, though? Yeah, it's quite nice. Good. Good. Right, Nikki, would you skate to it as well? Uh, yeah, I'd have to if she skates to it, wouldn't I really? Oh. She'd make me. Yeah. Girl was nice, wasn't she? Did yeah. you see the girl? Opening credits. What a lad you are, eh? Hand on her shoulder, spotting the girl in the video. You missed that. <laughs> Get off! Get off! Get off. <laughs> Great, anyway, you liked it, so good. Maybe you could practice skating to it at home on the carpet. Johnny? Well, I liked it. I mean, it was beautifully photographed. It looked nice. I mean, it was so-so, but I mean, it was like a television commercial, and it was nicely done. Good. What, do you what think does the choir boy next to you think of it? <laughs> well, talk about fiddling while Rome burns. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but I liked it, actually, because I'm a bit of a vulture for culture. Yes, I quite liked it, actually. Nicely photographed, very nicely dressed, very pleasant. Yes, I Good. liked it. Yes. But wonderful. So, on the whole, yeah. I think, uh... <laughs> but the occasional... Occasional, <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> With a stirrup pump. <laughs> Right now, a video that I know at least two of us like, Prince and I would die for you. Don't be shy. No, I wasn't very keen. Sorry, right. sorry. Johnny, what about you? Well, Basil and I actually watched it together, and the long version is very repetitious. It goes on and on. And yeah. But I mean, it's nicely done, but it goes both, on forever. Both of you are dressed dressed exactly like yes. Prince. You <laughs> <laughs> pinched my shirt. And I was annoyed about that. <laughs> right, yeah. Nikki and Karen, how did you feel about it? I thought it was great. I, I yeah. like the dancing, super. but the, the long version did go on a little bit. Mm. He moves well, doesn't he? Yeah. He's Would he make a good, good ice skater? Do you think? Ah, terrific. Bob, well, I think he's brilliant. And uh, he just reminds me so much of little Richard, you know, even even the old little Richard. Yeah. Same very pretty boy. With, with Hendrix's guitar style, it's got that well, same... Yeah, yeah, so he's great, and uh, I'm sorry it wasn't that big a hit, but um, I'm mad. Great, yes, I agree with you. I love him. Tom? Actually, reminds me of James Brown a bit. It's just it's a funny comparison. Mm. I think I'm the only person in the world that hasn't seen the film. I'm sort of quite impressed by what I've seen on the video clips. Right, okay. now to a big Prince fan, Alana. I just love Prince. I think he's great. Hail Prince, King of the <laughs> No, I just think he's really, really good. I don't think that video is so good. It's, part, it's from the movie Purple Rain, and it doesn't show the best bits right. of his performance, but I think he's a great performance and a really good performer and a really good songwriter. A great and performer and a favourite of all of us here. Well. Right, Roy. Uh, he looks like a, a good performer, but uh, I'm not really very keen on the song myself, you know. Uh, when we were watching the video earlier on, I noticed that lead guitarist had stockings and suspenders on, which was uh, pretty good. Maybe uh, it was cold. Pardon? Maybe he had cold legs. Yeah, probably. I like the bit at the very end of the film where they all dress up in lemming suits and jump into a bowl of custard. It was a bit fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed that bit. Yeah, it's a, uh, <coughs> Joe. <laughs> yeah, I think um, as a video, it didn't. It's, it's because it, you've got the whole film working up to this, like, breaking out because the film's quite depressing in a way, a lot of, you know, a lot of um, mm. aggravation going on and then there's just like a big release to it. So in, in that context it doesn't really work as a video but the actual, the buzz around it and the excitement and the entertainment is, right. I think, 100%. Neil, the fact that he would maybe be slightly reminiscent of Hendrix get you off the tour, does it remind you of the crash pad or anything no. like that, the posters on the wall? No, I, I didn't like it, it reminded me of John Travolta, actually, <laughs> not Hendrix. <laughs> Really? <laughs> it was kind of 70s, you know, and all, all kind of exciting and brilliant and everything. A bit too futuristic, really. Okay, well, you just keep hanging on to that Neil album there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, oh, my oh. album. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the third one, I just, just know the panel are going to sleep because of course, there's no chance of this being a hit in a million years. In fact, it's never been a hit at all yet. Brilliant! Get off! That Get says off. it all. 
<laughs> right, that, of course, that was the right word. It hits all over again. Can we have a few one-liners? Basil, one from you. Uh, one-liner? I thought it was marvellous, marvellous. Johnny? Yeah, yeah an obvious Christmas favourite. Yeah, yes. good. very good. Well, Great Nikki. sentiment. Great. Great yeah, are you saying that because Roy's here, Karen? I have to. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no, no. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Bob. Well, I'm glad to see he's changed so much, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing to see the difference in ten years. <laughs> yeah, how does he make his hair do that? <laughs> yeah, it was great. Alana, you liked it? Yeah. Natalie, do you like that? All the snowmen. What do you think of the funny snowman with the white beard? Do you like him? Yeah? He didn't like it. <laughs> I know what you mean. He's back by playing lots. Joe. Were you in the video, Natalie? Were you in it? I no. think it's really good. You know, you get all little kids' nose. It's great. I mean, they're great. Super. Neil, even you, the yeah. spirit of Christmas, yeah. must have loved that. I agree with the Thompson triplets. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. I think it looks like an advert for Grecian 2000, actually. <laughs> You've come on well in the last 10 years. I look at about 115 on it. Yeah. So, think, anyway, well done. Having a Christmas hit again. Great song. Well done, yeah, Roy. Magic. Smashing. Thanks to all our pop panellists. Um, we have a, a bargain today, which includes Neil's My White Bicycle, the Superstore Selection cassette, and the Paul McCartney jackets, which are around somewhere. We've got some great jackets and some Give My Girls to Broad Street t-shirts. I don't know where the jackets have got to, but they are around, so thank you very much, uh, Paul, for the jackets and for the Broad Street t-shirts. While we're at number two with Last Christmas, what was number two last Christmas? No answers from the panel. What was number two last Christmas? Right, yeah. whammer number two what this number Christmas one? with last Christmas. <laughs> what was number two last Christmas? Answers on the postcard to Superstore, BBC Television, London, W12, HQT. That's the address. Good luck with that. All these goodies could be yours. The Neil album, McCartney and the Frog Chorus single, and the McCartney jackets. And they're very special. We'll be showing you those next week. In the meantime, here's Cantable to tell us what's on the